Selecting the right keywords is often the hardest part of research. There really is no right or wrong, it is a case of trial and error. Keywords are the main terms that you can use to find information. They are the key to finding information in any search engine, including library search and our library databases, as well as Google. When you Google for information, you can put it in a sentence and may find results. Databases in library search work much better with a few keywords rather than a whole sentence. Your results will be more specific to your topic, it's easier to broaden or narrow your search, and your whole search process will be faster. Before you search for a topic using library search, unpack the assignment question or subject you are researching. Think of the keywords you want to use in your search. Ask yourself who, what, and where to help identify potential keywords. In this example, we've been given a topic of child development. The question we have created is about the impact that culture has on a child's development. There are three main keywords in that question, culture, impact, and child development. Once you have the main keywords, Establish which ones may have alternate keywords. Think of different synonyms or more specific terms. It is recommended to start out with a broad search. This way you can see how much information is out there about the topic and always narrow your search if there are too many results. This search resulted in 133 results, which is not too bad, but still too many to read through. We also want to find some New Zealand specific material. By using different keywords to narrow the search, we can try to find material that is more specific to the topic. This search found 18 items. Sometimes the search can be too narrow. If that is the case, then look at removing a keyword, changing a word, or changing the database that you're looking in. As well as using different keywords to narrow and broaden searches, there are a couple of useful techniques that can help. Phrase searching was used earlier to search for child development as a phrase. Without the speech marks, it will show all results that have just child or just development. By phrase searching, the results will only show items where child and development occur together. Truncation is another handy tool that allows for wider searching. By using the asterisk, or sometimes a question mark, the end of the word will be cut off and the search will be only on the first part of the word. So child and then asterisk will bring up results with the words child, children and childhood. We recommend you watch these videos. For more assistance, please contact the library.